Welcome back to the channel guys, this is Let's Be Real Brad, I talk about movies, TV shows, and all your favorite and fun videos that I do here. If this is your first time here, hit that subscribe button, drop a like on this video, and hit that notification bell so you never miss a new video. Today we are going to be talking about the brand new independent comedy film from Nicole Beckwith called Together Together. It stars Ed Helms and Patty Harrison. This movie is really quite hard wholesome this is one of those movies that you can literally just just watch and just have a really awesome time with but i also think this is a really important movie because it has a personal message that nicole beckwith wants to get behind as it feels very personal to her and the experiences that she went through but i also think this movie is just about acceptance it talks about how trying to break those traditional molds that we all create even though we have our own stereotypes and our own thoughts of what we think people should be doing and how they should be doing things in their own relationship. We see that between these two characters, even though they both have their own ways of breaking that traditional mold. It's what makes that conflict feel so genuine and organic. So I really don't want to get into the plot details because I really do feel as though that the trailer probably spoiled a good amount of this movie from kind of what I remember when I saw it a few weeks ago. But I will say that the story the story is pretty good and it's pretty unique for what we have seen in the modern day era because technically this is a romantic comedy drama film if you could say but it's definitely not the type of movie that you think and I actually really love the way that Nicole Beckwith just describes and how she challenges the idea of how do you love someone how do you love someone romantically and how do you have a bond together but it doesn't necessarily have to be romantic and that's kind of like the biggest theme of the film and I really enjoyed that so much I felt like she was offering something special and unique to the film that we really haven't seen before so let's dive right into this starting with the acting Ed Helms and Patty Harrison are truly wonderful and special in this film it was really nice to see Ed Helms really do a great role as I really do think this is one of his best performance he truly just became this character like nothing great groundbreaking or anything but he really felt this awkward and weird kind of humor patty harrison on the other hand is just absolute comedic gold i really haven't seen her in any other films but i really do think she could be an up-and-coming star because all her line delivery was just so funny like she really does feel like this awkward kind of closed in kind of person and really sells it every time on screen her and ed helms have a wonderful chemistry together that i probably could have just watched a whole like tv show or even sequels to this movie one of the best parts of this movie is the writing nicole beckwith was also the writer of this film as you can tell as i was saying before that this is a very personal film for her as we don't necessarily know what parts of this movie are true to her life but it's personal Personal enough that she just explored all the different areas of these characters and what are the things that they were going through. I really enjoy the humor in this. There is a lot of awkward humor in here. So if you really enjoy The Office for its really awkward humor, I think you're going to really love this movie because it was so damn funny. Now, this movie does have a few negatives. And to be honest, these negatives only really come as what a small film of this caliber would have so one of the things is the lighting and the cinematography i found this to be very quite bad it just doesn't feel like a professional film at times but it is very noticeable when the film just doesn't have a stylistic creativity when it comes to the presentation of the film and some of the lighting choices are very distracting especially when they're outside i also found the music to be good but very overbearing in so many moments of the film they did feel quite manipulative as the film going along just putting this hard piano notes just in every sad moment that all felt the same to me there is quite a bit of salty in this movie that i really did enjoy but there are moments later in the film where the characters just spell out everything and i know that's kind of a part of their arc but some of it was just too much and i was like oh cut it right there oh no cut it right there nope you can you can you can stop talking now you don't really have to tell us everything i think we kind of know it already overall together 
Gathered Together is a nice, wholesome, accepting movie that is unique and different from many films that I've seen. I thought the casting choices were really great with some great writing, comedic moments, but I think that anyone can accept this movie and can just understand where these characters are coming from. If you can go out to your local movie theater and check this movie out, if it is safe, I highly recommend doing it because this was a very enjoyable film. But if you can't, this movie will be on video on demand for you to rent and to buy coming on May 11th in the United States. So hopefully everyone gets the chance to check this movie out. I am giving Together Together a 7 out of 10. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all in the following video.